So guys, if there was a blueprint, if you said, okay, what's P6, what's pre-impact look like? Where are these great players? That's pretty close. All right, you can see that you've got the right angle here when the left hand's under the chin. We've got the knee covering the golf ball. We've got some lateral shift. And from here, I can cover, I can press this golf ball. I can get shaft lane. And this is pretty close to where the top players are. Now, it's not that easy to get into that position. Would you agree? If you're filming your swing, if you looked at your swings, if you're looking in and around impact with your coaches, you probably look at that position and say, I just can't quite get this angle. I lose the angle. So, I mean, how many amateurs do we see losing the angle here? Have we, here's a question. Have we ever seen great ball strikers with a wide downswing? Yes, we have. How many amateurs are losing this angle around the world? Well, there's millions, because it's not that easy to do. But what we're gonna look at here is for amateur players is this is a simple rule. The more lateral shift you have, the more shaft lean that you will get. I'll say that again. The more lateral shift that you have, the more shaft lean that you will get. And what we're seeing with wide swingers, people that don't have huge angles coming down, we're seeing them shift further left and they're getting around three quarters of their lead leg through this wall and this helps them get the shaft lean. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this and in this video, we're gonna have a look at a couple of moves that accommodate people that don't get a lot of shuffling so you can become a more consistent player. Let's have a look at the finish line here that I've drawn underneath the golf ball here. And for great sequence, power, lateral shift, to get your body to clear, get shaft lean. Look how that knee hits the finish line before the hand's doing. I'm gonna show you some amateurs here because they're doing the complete opposite coming up. They've got the hands hitting the finish line before the knee does. And we're seeing this time and time again. So the great players are really swinging really, really similar. See the body's moving through the wall. Now, the closer you get to this position, people, seriously, the better that you hit the golf ball. Even with Tommy Fleetwood with the wider stance, still gets the knee to the golf ball. And we just go through a few plays here because when we look at really the facts of what's really going on, the closer you can get your body to these positions here, see that knee hitting the, the closer you get, you're just going to set off at such a huge chain reaction on your golf swing. Even in my swing here, you're about to see the knee hitting the finish line and getting that lateral shift. Unfortunately, what we're seeing with so many of the amateur players out there is that the hands hit the finish line before the knee does. And it's really causing problems with their sequence, their weight transference, their impact, not enough shaft lean, obviously no movement through the wall. So guys, all right, we're looking at impact here and getting the right knee to cover the golf ball and this move has a wonderful chain reaction on your downswing, your through swing, and of course your impact position. And I'm gonna show you guys how to practice this. And uh, it supplies a couple of things. We, we know we need some lateral shift in the golf swing. We have around four to six inches and we need to open up the hips so that we get clear away through the ball. We're not cr creating a collision course. And these hips, if that's being 10 degrees, they can turn between 35 to 55. We're getting that PGA zone or corridor. Now, the reason I mention this is we can be technical without being mechanical, but we need to understand, we need to get closer to some of these positions to consistently propel a golf ball down the line. What we're looking at here is getting the right knee to cover or be on top or over the golf ball at impact. And we want this right knee to get to this finish line or get to the golf ball before the hands do. And what it does is it assures that the knees are moving slightly towards the target. And it also, it's a bit of a two in one movement. The less we think, the better it is. So we're gonna hit some golf balls and get the right knee. It also helps, of course, when we get the right knee to the golf ball, that we have the hips out of the way. That creates some power. It creates some freedom through the golf ball. And unfortunately, a lot of the time we're seeing amateur golfers come down and a lot of the club players are really freezing up here with the knees and creating a bit of a collision course and the elbows widening and really causing, you know, not such a, a lot of different problems in and around impact. So by practicing this move, here's how we do it. It's pretty basic. You get to the top of your swing, you're keeping yourself centered. And when you're moving down, you're just getting that knee to get to the golf ball just before your hands are. And just applying a few practice swings, getting a feel for this movement, and then you can move through the ball. And it's just getting your, 
your knees to lead slightly as we get up into a nice balanced finish position. Right knee to the golf ball. It's a great swing thought. It's a great checkpoint. And if you can get in and practice it, rather than having your right knee over your right ankle at impact, this is going to really help you create a much more dynamic, free impact position to hit clean, consistent golf shots down the line. World Class Golf Instructions is improving golfers between 4 and 11 shots. Your swing analyst video is the same as this YouTube format, except with your swing on the screen. It goes between 15 to 30 minutes with tailored drills and exercises, a higher level of instruction at a cheaper price. 1,300 videos, 75 separate series. Reach out to us in the chat room and get on the path of playing your best golf. Now, tee to green, Scotty Scheffler is the world's best ball strike. Garcia is on the left of the screen, statistically the best or the second best iron player in the last 20, 25 years. Just incredible ball strikers. Sergio Garcia has heaps of lag. And a big, big angle. Look at that. Insane angle coming down. And you would have to probably agree with me, club players or your amateur golfers, they can't do that. All right? 98% of club golfers lose their angles coming down. They lose the angle between the shaft and the shoulder, like Scotty Scheffler. Okay? They don't have this angle here. Now, when we lose this angle, what happens is that the club lands most times quicker on the ground, we start to flip and add artificial loft. We can hit it thin. We don't get compression. Now, 99% of amateur golfers lose their angles coming down. This is where I've helped so many people with online lessons. This part of the swing, have a look how wide the downswing is here. Now, Scotty Sheffer is obviously one of the best hitters in the world, right? Now, what's the difference? Well, he's moving through the wall. That You can see that, right? So when you move through the wall, you'll get more shaft lean. And your low point is further left, so you get compression. Have a look at his lead foot. Look how he rolls on the outside of the foot. Now, that's old school. We, we almost lose some instruction through, gen, through a generation. And we were taught to roll on the outside, outside of our lead foot. The amateur players, actually, when they get at the top of the swing, they roll back. See how the foot, there's no weight on it? Slips back in the... Look at his foot. See how it slips back in the other direction? Right? So by rolling on the outside of your foot, we're seeing this with people that swing wide. Right? We've seen it time and time again. Great ball strikers, wide down swings, rolling on the outside. It's like a prerequisite. It's like, look, if you swing wide, you've got to get, you got to get across, roll on the outside of your foot, arch your back a little bit here, people. All right? We're seeing the amateur golfers with every single one. It's every single amateur player that you film has a wide down swing coming down, and they don't move through the wall. Now, we have to understand this, and we'll see just time and time again, unbelievable ball strikers, really wide, and then rolling on the outside of the foot. Let's see how we can f get this into the swing, right? Get it into your action. It's simple, it's basic, it's the stuff that helps. Send your swing through to me for an online lesson. I will get you moving in the right direction. Invest in your golf, guys, an important part. All right, let's get stuck into it. Now, the drill that we're gonna look at here is moving through the golf ball. We're gonna roll, deliberately roll on the outside of this lead foot. We're going to get this right thigh and knee to move inwards in an internal type of fashion here. We're going to get this right leg to move in. We don't want to be moving up and out of it. Just the worst thing we can do. So we're going to get this right leg to move in. And we're going to roll onto the outside of the lead foot. Now, when you've rolled onto the outside of your lead foot, it's a guarantee that you've had lateral shift. And as I said, the more lateral shift you have, the more shaft lean you will get. Let's have a look how we can practice, practice this move. I wanna take you through some other moves in this video to help you guys really improve your ball striking. They're just basic, clear, simple tips that you could explain to a 10 year old. Now through the golf ball here, I'm just gonna move through. I'm not gonna hit it hard. We'll just move through the golf ball. And you can just see, well, I'll stop there. If you can see, I've rolled onto the outside of my lead foot. Can you see that? Now, this is a thing where I see a lot of amateur golfers that they really struggle with. Now, if you can get this right leg to push in and we can roll on the outside of this foot, all we need to do really is have our upper body pretty straight without having your chest too far in front of your uh, belt buckle here. If you can just get a quite a, a nice straight finish, you've got your lateral shift, you're moving across, you're covering, and you're getting shaft lean. So guys, just apply a practice swing before you start. Get this right leg to squeeze in, really closing up the gap with your thighs. That'll give you some shift. Also, it'll help you open 
And if you can roll onto the outside of that lead foot, and just sometimes hold that balance for 10, 20, 30, so even a minute, right? It might look a bit funny, but it's just, it's just programming something, getting it connected to a feel. And this is one area to help you guys shift, clear, open, cover the ball, get shaft lean. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're sending your swing through to me from your mobile phone, you'll get this same system, your swings on the screen, right? Like the YouTube video. And you've got my voiceover. You get like a compressed email. It'll go around between 20 to 30 minutes. And I'll show you like a whole bunch of drills and exercises. And then you have unlimited contact with me. So whatever drills or exercises it is that you need, Guys, if you want to see the deep to shallow swing style on worldclassgolf.com, that's helping so many people. And we've got different drills, different stuff. I mean, we're helping, you know, people from really all around the world. So reach out to me. I guarantee I'll get you on the, on the, the correct path to play your best golf. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it.